Today I'm at Costco and I really want to show you my top finds at Costco to help you make healthy eating the easier choice. So let's get started. So for on-the-go snacks, a lot of times we want pre-packaged items, right? So I just want to give you a quick guideline as to what you want to look for. Um, some of the bars that we have at Costco include things like the Simply Bar. This is actually gluten-free, but it's soy-based uh, protein. Uh, these you cannot bring to school because most of them do have peanuts in them. However, something like a hemp heart bar, this one's actually school friendly and full of omega-3 packed uh, hemp seeds. I've actually tasted these before and they are delicious. So again, good for school lunches. Then we also have the Made in Nature. Made in Nature, some of them are peanut free and then some of them are not. Uh, so just kind of pick and choose. These are a little bit, these are really good for pre-workout because they have that boost of sugar that will digest quickly and give you that uh, good um, energy boost. Last but not least, there's not a bar, but this is called the Good Bean and they are just lightly salted roasted chickpeas full of fiber as well as protein. Again, they're nut free, so great for school snacks. They put on salads and, um, or just a handful um, in the afternoon. These are actually one of my favorites. I just saw them right now, but they're called Sweet Seeds. Really nice, again, for a pre-workout made with chia seeds. And we also have, uh, these are more for high school students or adults, um, grab and go kind of single serving almonds. For school lunches, there's a few more ideas. We have these diced uh, peaches in their own fruit juice, only 60 calories per one. Great for school uh, lunches again. Um, the flavored apple sauces, none, sorry. Non, no added sugars to it. One of my personal favorites are these. They look like little baby foods, but really great, especially if you do morning workouts. You put in your cart, drink it while you're on the way to the gym, and you have a little boost of sugar. Here at Costco, we also have a variety of gluten-free crackers. Now, each of these, just remember, the serving sizes are only about 10 to 12 crackers, but you have ones that have beets in them. You have the Mary crackers, which are really popular. You, these ones are really, the Crunch Master, they find really nice, kind of pulverized and used as a crusting for chicken tenders. And then we also have the sweet potato crackers here um, as well. For other school snacks, instead of juice, coconut water would be a good one just because there's less sugar um, in it and you're giving extra potassium to your child. And then these nice and crispy apple chips, so instead of chips, you can try giving them of these apple chips. So now I'm in the section where there's a lot of dried fruits and additional uh, nuts, so I'm going to quickly go through what kind of dried fruits I recommend. I really like the ones at Costco because they're organic and they're unsulfured, meaning they don't have any preservatives added to them, so it's really good for anybody with very sensitive um, allergies or anything. So the first one is, these are quite new, they're called Golden Berries, really, really high antioxidants, really popular in Peru. Again, you just add it in just like any other dried fruit to your uh, trail mixes, your cereal, etc. Uh, these are also new. They're just coconut. I love this because it's a healthy fat so you can eat it with your dried fruit to stabilize your blood sugar levels which is really, really key. Then we have my, again, one of my other favorites, um, unsulfured apricots. Really, really juicy. These are the Calamurna figs. Again, I love them with a little bit of almond butter. Last but not least, we again have some organic uh, sun-made raisins. No added sugar. So all of these have no added sugars uh, to them and that's what you want to look for. Nuts are probably the best finds at Costco because as you know the prices are really high and they have a great selection. There's unsalted cashews, we have some shelled pistachios already, great on top of salads or just a handful at lunchtime. Then there's also the mixed ones which is one of my favorite because they also include Brazilian nuts which are really, really high in selenium. So come check it out and just choose a variety of different nuts that you may want to have on hand again for great snacking or topping on salads or just really in anything. Quite a few good finds here. We have first of all the Bob's Red Mill. This is new for Costco. It's steel cut oats that they have. Again, just plain. And we also have this. This is really nice. It's actually roasted ground flax seeds. They have a regular uh, non-roasted flax seed near the pharmacy area, but this one has a really nice kind of toasty flavor. Then of course we have these beautiful hemp hearts, chia seeds, both of which are really high in omega-3. And if you want a nice kind of uh, morning cereal, you can always try out this one, which is the Nature's Path Akia, which is chia seeds, buckwheat, and hemp cereal. Just mix it with some milk overnight, and you can eat it like a pudding. In the produce section right now, I'm gonna quickly just show you items that I really like from here. So we have these little mini potatoes, again, great for portion sizes. Organic uh, cherry tomatoes, just wash and eat, along with these mini uh, cucumbers. These green beans are fabulous. They cook super fast and they're already washed. I love these, really hard to find in the grocery store than the organic broccolinis. Um, here we have the baby romaine uh, mix. Again, toss it with the kale mix. So just mix these together because the dressing is full on too much in here. Then we also have these mini dips. So we have the mini 100 calorie guacamole, uh, 100 calorie uh, hummuses as well. And last but not least, 
love these. These are the uh, yellow kiwis that you can eat the skin with it. Tons of uh, healthy enzymes and deliciously mild and not acidic at all. Easiest way to prepare really quick, easy meals is to always have some frozen vegetables on hand. So like something like broccoli. We also have ones that have mixed uh, vegetables as well. And then when it comes to frozen fruit, um, Costco is great for having the organic frozen fruit. So things like cherries and blueberries are really, really highly sprayed with pesticides. So when possible, buy the organic uh, varieties. For those of you who like to make your own tomato sauce or homemade chilies or soups or just kind of uh, some kind of sauce base, um, and you like tomatoes, I would really highly recommend trying to get these ones. You just, this is called Posada, which are strained uh, tomatoes and they come in a pack of six. Uh, usually at stores, you, they might sell them for $2.29, uh, but here at Costco, it's $6.99 for six uh, jars. When it comes to lean protein at Costco, there are some things to watch out for. Um, if you want just a quick um, something for sandwiches, there's a nitrate-free turkey uh, sliced from Lilydale. We also have organic whole chickens for a really, really reasonable price that you can roast them, make extra, and pack it for the next day lunches. Um, now when it comes to salmon, they have the organic salmon and then they also have the wild sockeye. Put this one back down, do not buy it because in, in Canada, organic salmon means nothing, no regulations whatsoever. Whereas wild, there are actually regulations set in place. So spend your money on the wild and not the organic. Last but not least, this is not organic meat, but a lot of people do like making like ground uh, burgers um, or meatballs. So this would be a good one. Then this ground turkey, a little bit leaner than uh, the beef. The common questions I get from people is what kind of tuna should I buy? There's two different types of tuna. One is light and the other one is white. These are both ocean brand, but it's very, very different. The light tuna are the smaller fishes, either yellowfin or skipjack. And then the white ones are the albacore ones. The solid white, or this in this case is flaked white tuna, which is albacore tuna, much higher in mercury. So always look out for the word uh, light. Another great find at Costco when it comes to fish or canned fish is their wild uh, sockeye canned salmon. They also have wild pink salmon um, as well. Great in sandwiches, add to pastas, add to rice dishes, whatever you want. Um, and last but not least, as an awesome snack for kids and adults, are these new ocean snack kit which is tuna with rice crackers but again these are albacore so i would only eat these maybe twice um, a month or so because of the mercury content some dairy products if you do eat dairy they do have organic milk available there is some greek uh, yogurt this one only has skim milk and bacteria that's it they even now also have some organic uh, salted butter and last but not least, this is not because they're dairy, but we, they also have beautiful organic eggs and you really taste uh, the difference when you eat these ones. Okay, so now um, in terms of cooking oils, just kind of quickly again, because at Costco they have nice and bulk sizes um, and they're really healthy fats. The first one is probably my favorite is the avocado oil, just because the smoke point is 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And the quality of the oil, one easy way to find out is whether or not it's in a glass bottle and a dark one because fats oxidize from light, heat, as well as oxygen. So when you have a glass bottle that's dimmed, it is the best. Another oil I really like for salads and such is the um, olive oil. So this one comes in a pack of two. Um, it's an organic olive oil from uh, Italy. Then I also have a huge thing of organic coconut oil. I mean, if you don't love coconut oil, it wouldn't suggest a big thing. But for me, I use it a lot. So I usually like to buy it in a big jug like this. Last but not least, um, it's just some fresh olives. These are the Castle de Trano olives, which is my personal favorite. And I will eat 10 of these and a handful um, as an afternoon snack. We're again added to salads. Okay, so now we're in the spice um, area. I just want to quickly go through some of my fa uh, personal favorites. I love these ones, which are just uh, the salt uh, grinders. So you have the Himalayan one. We just have the Mediterranean sea salt. Um, I also have a couple of these no salt um, added seasoning mixes, really quick for chicken or fish. Um, and then also, of course, granulated uh, garlic. I love fresh garlic, but sometimes in a pinch, I'll just use this because it's fast and it's really good for marinating meats. So we have some uh, other house stuff that I want to quickly talk through. So this is just, because you're going to be eating a lot more produce on my plants, you want to make sure you're composting. So these are great compost bags. And then when baking, I oftentimes, again, I always state parchment paper, parchment paper. So this is a great find at Costco. Now when you're buying such things in large quantities, especially food and perishables, like your fruits and your vegetables, just really make sure you be mindful of, of how you freeze them. So we're going to be talking about that during our cooking classes and feel free to reach out to me uh, when uh, whenever you have any questions at all. I really hope you enjoyed this segment and that you were able to um, be introduced to new products that you may not have seen at Costco. Okay, have a great day.